In today's show, the Bitcoin price predicted to skyrocket to $100,000 in 2020, according to Silk Road founder Ross Ulbrich. In today's episode, I'll be breaking down his Elliott Wave theory, which his prediction is based upon. Also in today's show, the Bitcoin halving could leave the price at twenty dollars to $50,000, according to hedge fund manager. We'll be discussing this in today's show. Also, we'll be taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market. As you can see, there is a bearish sentiment. We'll be doing a Bitcoin price action. All this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And quick reminder before we kick off today's show, tomorrow, Wednesday, December 11th, hedge fund market wizard Larry Benedict is hosting a live event. He's going to be revealing the secret he has used to generate $274 million in pure profit. His goal is to do a trade and earn $70,000 live in the flesh, and he's going to be donating the proceeds to a charity to feed thousands of families. To register for this live event, click the link right below this video in the description. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. Let's dive right into today's top story. If you happen to be tired of traders on Twitter, here's your take on the Bitcoin price by none other than the founder of the now defunct drug marketplace, Silk Road. Ross Ulbrich recently predicted that the price of Bitcoin can shoot up to the $100,000 level in 2020 based on the Elliott Wave theory. Here's what he's quoted saying, thus, we have a price and target for the end of the wave, I of $100,000 sometime in or near 2020. All I know is this, once Bitcoin strikes $100,000, I'm going to be like, crypto gang, it's the game, big gang, all gang, light gang, cash game, blockchain, whoa, I don't really ever buy stocks, man, no. haters want to say I'm in a bubble, man, no. chip chew them up like bubble gum, no. just made a meal with my pocket chain, no. wreck about to go and join the huddle gang. Huddle gang, huddle gang, huddle gang. However, he warns crypto enthusiasts that market moves are not always proportional, and his numbers, which are based on Bitcoin's past price actions, are by no means precise. Albrecht claims that he has several Bitcoin charts sent to a prison cell on a daily basis. It takes about a week to put his letters online, which makes them slightly out of date. However, he states that it doesn't matter since he only focuses on the coin's long-term price action. He's quoted saying, the charts we will be looking at to show the price of a Bitcoin in US dollars over time. According to Ulbrich, the overall trend for Bitcoin is still up despite a severe price correction. The first cycle is divided into five waves that also feature intermediate waves. The end of the fourth wave market, the bottom of the 2014-2015 bear market, when the price of Bitcoin plunged to $175 in January 2015 before gearing up for its parabolic rise to the current all-time high that was conquered back in December of 2017 when we saw the Bitcoin rise to almost $20,000 as we can see right here in this chart. Ulbrich further explained that the all-time high could mark the end of the third wave, while another bear market that started in January 2018 could be the fourth wave. He's quoted saying, if the $20,000 peak is the end of wave three, then the correction pattern we are in is wave four, and we can expect wave five to take us to new all-time highs. There's an alternative scenario where the $20,000 peak was the end of the fifth wave. It means that Bitcoin could be correcting its entire move from the very beginning. However, if the fifth wave is still unfolding, the next bull run could last until February 2021. Let's do it. And could ultimately take the price of Bitcoin to $100,000 as early as in 2020. Now that's what's up. Recently, venture capitalist Tim Draper opined that Ulbrich had to be freed from jail. Dread pirate Roberts is currently serving a double life sentence in prison plus 40 years as a first-time nonviolent offender after being convicted of all charges in 2015. That's insane, isn't it? Here's what Tim Draper is quoted saying. Get him out. We need entrepreneurs like that guy, he said. Notably, Draper also predicted the Bitcoin price can surge to $250,000 by 2023 because of growing adoption. We covered this just a few days ago on the show. If you 
you missed that episode, be sure to check it out. And checking out the top cryptocurrencies, we can see there is definitely a bearish sentiment in the market right now, as most of the major cryptos are in the red. Bitcoin down 1.16%, currently trading at $7,269. Ethereum down 1.7%, trading at $146. XRP down 0.36%, trading at $0.22. Cents. Litecoin is down 0.39% trading at $44.30. BNB coin down 1.5% trading at $15.11. Link is in the green again. It also had a nice pump yesterday. It's up 0.89% trading at $2.25. And in other crypto news, the Bitcoin halving can leave the price at $20,000 to $50,000 according to Hedge Fund Manager. Let's break this down. Bitcoin scheduled mining reward halving in May 2020 could leave prices for the crypto in a range between between twenty and fifty thousand dollars, according to a new estimate, the projection by Charles Huang, managing member of a hedge fund, Lightning Capital, represents a multiple of Bitcoin's current price around seventy-five hundred dollars. Huang wrote in a post on Medium that he assumed demand holds steady at six hundred and thirty-three thousand Bitcoin through twenty twenty-one, while mining rewards drop to three hundred and twenty-eight thousand five hundred Bitcoin a year from the current pace of six hundred and fifty-seven thousand a year year, this sudden shift in the supply curve will most likely be the catalyst for the next Bitcoin bull run, Huang wrote in a post. Lightning Capital is a small hedge fund with roughly 500,000 of assets, but Huang's prediction adds to a growing number of estimates from investors and analysts trying to gauge the potential impact of the halving, where the number of the Bitcoin mining reward created every 10 minutes is sliced right in half. The cut happens every four years in accordance with the crypto's 11-year-old design. That scarcity built right into Bitcoin is amazing. Some market observers say Bitcoin's first two halvings in 2012 and 2016 helped fuel big rallies in Bitcoin's price. And the German bank, Bayern LB, predicted earlier this year that the 2020 halving could drive the price as high as $90,000. Other analysts argue that since investors know the event is coming, it theoretically should already be baked into the Bitcoin price. I disagree with that. What are your thoughts? I personally believe Bitcoin will rise as a result of the halving and it's not factored into the price right now. But hey, I'm just a YouTuber. I don't give financial advice. If you're going to invest into cryptocurrency, please do so at your own risk. Huang told Coindesk in an interview that he considered his demand estimate conservative. He projects that 82,000 Bitcoin purchases could come from an online dark markets, while 546,000 Bitcoin could be bought through over-the-counter provider local Bitcoins. There have been many people who claim there's no demand for Bitcoin, Huang said. However, the data from local Bitcoins and dark markets demonstrates people are purchased in Bitcoin. Huang wrote in his Medium post that his research shouldn't be constructed as investment advice. And let's blow this up and check this out. Summary of demand curve for Bitcoin. It shows buyers stack and stats nominal. And this is for 2021 annual Bitcoin purchase estimate, okay? Dark markets, 82,000 Bitcoin. Localbitcoins.com, 546,000. That's massive marketplace. Bitcoin ETF, 30,000. Sovereign wealth funds, 30,000. And wealthy individuals, 15,000 for a grand total of 633,000 Bitcoin potentially in 2021. The total crypto market cap is sitting at $198 billion with $56 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current Bitcoin dominance is 66.6%. And taking a look at the biggest gainers in the past 24 hours, Engine Coin leading the pack up 12%, trading at 8.2 cents. Enigma up 7%, trading at 48 cents. Digix Dow up 7%, trading at $19.16. Silverway up 6%, trading at 34 cents, Kyber Network up 5%, trading at 20 cents, and Tezos up 4.8%, trading at $1.53. And for the biggest losers in the past 24 hours, Matic Network is still dumping. It went down 8% in the past 24 hours, trading at 1.8 cent. EDU Care is down 6%, trading at 9.6 cents. Energy down 6%, trading at $2.14. 
FTX token down 5%, trading at $1.72. Quant down 4%, trading at $4.39. And V-Systems down 4%, trading at 4.6 cents. And checking out the BitMEX margins, we can see the bears are in control, leading the way with about 15 million in superiority in the past 24 hours, with shorts leading 50.61% versus 49.39% longs. Are you bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Let me know in the comments right down below. And checking out the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Right now, we're in extreme fear, rated with a 20. Yesterday was fear, rated a 26. Last week was extreme fear, rated a 21. So right now, it's more extreme fear than we've seen in the past week. And last month was rated a 41 with fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, Extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. This could be a buying opportunity. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me through this crypto matrix. If you haven't done so already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And before I go, quick reminder, tomorrow, Wednesday, December 11th, hedge fund market wizard Larry Benedict is hosting a live event. He's going to be revealing the secret he has used to generate $274 million in pure profit during this live trade-a-thon. His goal is to earn $70,000 with the trade in as little as three hours. And if it's successful, he's going to be donating that $70,000 to a local charity that's going to help feed thousands of individuals. To register for this live event, click the link right below this video in the description. It's going to take you to this page. Simply enter your best email, then click the yellow button that says register for free access. I look forward to seeing you there, and I'll see you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.